Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have a few new in pieces for the transitional season leading into spring. So I'm going to show you those first and then I really want to talk to you about colour theory and putting outfits together and choosing items for your wardrobe in colours that really represent your style. I've come up with a little bit of a method on how I'm going to integrate colour into my wardrobe and which colours I'm going to pick, which colours I'm going to avoid. So I really want to share that with you and also also show you a few outfits including the new in pieces styled with some of my existing pieces in my wardrobe. The first new in piece from Lily Silk is the top that I'm wearing now. It's a simple white, I think it's a true white, it might be an ever so slightly off white but it is, it's almost like an ivory colour I guess. It's beautiful, it's 100% silk, it has this very simple minimal collar which I really love and then these slightly exaggerated cuffs with this pearl detail here as well so it adds a little bit of elevation to an otherwise very very simple shirt I went with a size small in this one if you don't want it to be too too oversized then I would recommend sizing down one from your regular size sticking with the silk theme I also chose this pair of black silk trousers this is something that I was really excited to pick up because I don't have any trousers in a silk material and I thought these would be so nice so lightweight for spring summer and they definitely are the fit on these is beautiful I do really struggle to find trousers that fit me but I think I will be returning to Lily Silk when I need another pair of trousers because these fit me perfectly super tight on the waist but really relaxed quite a wide leg um, quite a flowy wide leg down the rest of the trouser perfect so nice again the silk feels very similar they aren't see-through so you don't need to worry about that because it is a really nice high quality silk it manages to be soft and drapey without being too sheer and thin these ones I picked up in a size US 10 and last but certainly not least it wouldn't be one of my videos without me picking up a piece of knitwear this is a beautiful navy merino wool cardigan kind of jacket hybrid but it's on the slightly thinner side I absolutely love this again it's going to be perfect for spring summer it's a beautiful 100% merino wool fabric so it's very soft it's nice and lightweight definitely appropriate as a lighter layer for spring summer if you need something over your shoulders but you don't want a proper jacket this is the exact thing that I tend to reach for in that scenario it's got lovely gold buttons they're like a brushed gold so they're not too bright and shiny but they do pop against this beautiful navy color I went with a size medium in this and I would say it fits absolutely perfectly so definitely stay true to size on this one this is just a really good classic wardrobe staple never gonna go out of style in a gorgeous neutral color very excited to style this one up as well of course I do have a discount code for you if you would like to check out Lily Silk spring collection for yourself I will leave the discount code on screen you can get 20% off if you use my code I will also leave all the details of the offer down in the description box along with the links to my items and my sizing information as well okay now let's talk all about color schemes color theory and how I'm using this new method I've come up with to create a really cohesive really wearable wardrobe for myself this is something that I've developed partly from just observing my wardrobe, observing the colours that I'm naturally drawn to, even observing the rest of my house and my surroundings and seeing what colours I'm drawn to in interior design as well. Um, and also watching a few videos on how to wear colour, how to use colour within your wardrobe, particularly the kind of viral TikTok theory of wearing three colours per outfit. And then also a video from Hannah Louise Poston who recently did a video talking about how to use colour to dress in a more kind of minimal chic way and she basically spoke about having two primary colours that make up the majority of the items in your wardrobe whether that's black and white whether that's red and blue whether that's green and pink and then having two secondary colours that make up a smaller proportion of your wardrobe now I wanted to expand on that a little bit because I'm not as minimalistic of a dresser as Hannah and I like to be able to play with colour and have a little bit more 
color within my outfits. So I was trying to figure out how can I work this color theory to suit me and to suit the colors that I gravitate towards. And I basically smushed the two theories together. So the three color outfit for formula from TikTok and Hannah Louise Poston's theory of wearing two main colors. You have not two, but three main colors that make up the bulk of your wardrobe. So my first color is blue. I love to wear denim. I think if you wear blue denim on a semi-regular basis, then blue kind of has to make up one of your three main colors because it is something that so many people wear on high rotation. But when I'm saying blue, that can be anything from a light wash blue denim to a dark navy, like the Lily Silk jumper that I just showed you. So when we're talking about colors, we're talking about quite a broad spectrum within one color, almost more of a color family rather than being very strict on one particular tone. So my first color is blue and that encapsulates the denim primarily in the form of jeans, but occasionally denim dresses and skirts that I like to wear. Um, and then it can also encapsulate things like my navy coat, my navy knitwear, maybe a pair of navy trousers if I had those. The second of my main three colors is, and this one I did take a little bit of kind of artistic license on. I'm gonna call it burgundy, but it also includes lighter shades of pink as well. So I love burgundy. You can probably see from my wardrobe, from my rail, from my bags above my head, that burgundy is definitely a color that I grab gravitate towards much more so than a true brick red. So I definitely wanted to include burgundy as one of my three main colors, but I also love pink and I love rosier pinks. It tends to be more of these, yeah, this kind of mid-tone rosy pink. So not a super light pink, not a bright fuchsia pink, but something somewhere in between. And I was gonna count them as two separate colors, but I basically didn't have room. And to be honest, it does the same thing within my wardrobe. It is more of a statement color. When I talk about my other, um, main color of the three. I've got blue, burgundy, and my other one is white. So the other two are quite neutral, right? Blue I consider to be pretty much a neutral, especially when we're talking about denim. White is a neutral. So the one color in my three main colors that is kind of brighter, is a little bit bolder, is this burgundy pink color. So those are my three main colors, and those colors should make up the bulk of my wardrobe. I would say about 70% of your wardrobe should be made of your three main colors and every outfit you put together should predominantly be made of these three main colors. From there, you also have three accent colors. The ones that I chose for my wardrobe, this was fairly easy, at least the first two were. The immediate choice for me was black. I don't always gravitate towards black, but I do like to have some black in my wardrobe. I just showed you those black trousers. I have a couple of other pairs of black trousers. I have black shoes, a black bag, a black jumper. It's a color that I think also looks good on me because of my coloring, my dark hair, my lighter skin. I do actually suit black, so it's a color I wanted to include. The second color in my accent colors is brown. Similar reasoning. I have a lot of tan and brown bags um, and brown shoes, not so much clothing. And then my final color, this was the one I had to think a little bit more about because I kind of had all my colors down and I was like, what color really, when I look around my wardrobe and I look around my home is the other color that I gravitate towards. And once I asked myself that, it became quite obvious that it actually was green. I have quite a lot of green in my home. It's a color that I gravitate towards when it comes to painting my home and also furnishing my home. I have green bedding on my bed right now. My other bedding set is burgundy, which is obviously one of my other favorite colors. I have a green bodysuit. Oh, it's not on my rail at the moment, but I do have a green bodysuit. I have two green coats. Um, I have like a shorter green coat and then my Scott Trench in that khaki green color. So I definitely have some green within my wardrobe. I also have a pair of green trousers, summer trousers from Reformation. So it definitely felt like the right color to add as a final accent color. And that is it. Those are the colors that I would say make up 95% of my wardrobe just naturally before I'd even thought of this theory, which kind of cements in my head that it is the right color scheme for me is that I'm naturally picking these colors anyway. Um, and this is the theory I'm going to hold in my head moving forward when I'm thinking about buying new items and adding new items to my wardrobe. Because, for example, if you're deciding on a new bag and it comes in 
a whole range of colours. I'm really liking the look of the Loewe Flamenco clutch at the moment. This small, very soft, squishy leather bag. Beautiful as a clutch bag, but also comes with a crossbody strap. It's definitely high up on my radar, but this bag comes in probably about 10 different colours. Um, and so at first I was thinking, well, what on earth, how on earth do I decide which colour to buy? And then A, I was naturally drawn to one colour, but B, it became quite obvious that it should be in one of my, probably my main colours because it is a more expensive item I want to get a lot of wear out of it so I want it to be in one of my three main colours blue white or burgundy and instantly I saw this burgundy version of the Loewe bag and fell in love so I think this theory will hopefully help you to make decisions when things come in multiple different colourways rather than buying all of them or rather than not knowing which one to buy for you or making the wrong decision you pick the one that is either one of your main three main colours or one of your three accent colours and you know that way that it is probably going to fit in and work very seamlessly with the rest of your wardrobe. Okay, so that is how I figured out my colour scheme moving forward. Now I want to show you some of the outfits that I'm going to put together with the new in pieces from Lily Silk and also some of my existing pieces in my wardrobe as well. Let's go! Thank you. 